All right, here we go, guys. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to our favorite novel study. Hey, Benjamin, Kenneth, how are you guys doing today? We're doing great. I'm really glad to hear that because, well, today we're going to have a bit of a... A bit of a special class because we're experiencing an amazing amazing shot we're gonna be uh, witnessing a new book yes we're gonna be learning a new book um who can tell me what is the name of the book who can do it <coughs> what is it oh jolin yes the cricket in times square 1961 new book all right you got that right well done well done okay now uh guys how many chapters do we have to read for the first class? Four. Four. I Kenneth, can you confirm this? <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> how many chapters do you have to read, Kenneth? Arden? How many chapters did you have to read, Kenneth? Um, I need to read four chapters. Four chapters. I okay. Uh, did, did someone just read, say they read a whole book? Three times? <laughs> Jesus, Jolin, why? Because when I'm eating lunch, I'm bored. There's no TV in school. So you just read on you when you're bored? Well, yeah, I was like, this would be okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Jolin, put down the book! <laughs> when I'm bored, I eat these. Do you guys know what this is? I don't have that in school. Do you know what this is, guys? Anyone? Chips in the no. shape of fries. <laughs> exactly. They are one of the most amazing pieces of art. Look at how cute that looks. <laughs> they are a little sharp. All right, guys. All right. Worksheets. We got to start talking about the worksheets, okay? Okay. This is quite important, okay? Because some of you guys did all of it right, like Jolin. Some of you guys did it uh, with a couple of mistakes, okay? So we're going to be discussing that. And I hope you guys are ready. Okay? okay. Any questions, guys? Nope. Nope. Right. Everyone ready to go? Yeah. Yes. All right. All right, then let's waste no time. Uh, who would like to go first? What? Well, because it's all the same, we are going to discuss all our but it's just the, but it's just first and second and last. <laughs> so pick all right, one. all right, all right, fine, fine, fine. I'll open up a piece of paper, right. and I'll start to, I'll, I'll, I'll start picking a random person myself. Okay. If we share the screen, we we'll drag you guys in here. All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, everyone. Nice to see all of you here. <laughs> Okay, so let's go quickly to the written homework, guys. Now let's have a look at everyone, at everyone, one at a time. What? What? Those two, Wait, what? What? Okay, that me. what? Okay. Well, anyway, as I was saying, uh, let's begin with the first one. Now, guys, there are some di distinctive mistakes which a lot of you guys have made, and I really, really want to address them as soon as possible. So let me just correct the screen and show you guys what I mean, okay? So this first one, <coughs> excuse me, I presume was Benjamin. Oh no, yes, Benjamin, right there. Wait, what? Wait, did you send three? No, there we go. Yes. Uh, now, let me just scroll down here and find the right homework, assigned homework, and we can begin working on it. But it is very, very confusing to me. I think this is the one. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Number one mistake was the tenses and the times, guys. So here we can see. Uh, Benjamin, can you read the first answer, please? Um, this is Kenneth. What? <laughs> this is Kenneth's homework. <laughs> this is mine. Well, okay. Benjamin's going to read yours, and then Kenneth is going to read Benjamin's. That's so how it's going to work. Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Benjamin, read. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
Read away. Oh uh, yes, I do because I, uh, he had his um 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 hole, oh. and he can sit at the mouth of the drain pipe and watch the world go by. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, Benjamin, can you identify any mistakes so far? <laughs> you don't know. All right. So yes, I do. Because he had what form is had, Benjamin? Oh, it, it has. Oh, he oh. has his own home. Right. So we have to choose one of the tenses, and if we choose one of those tenses, we're not allowed to skip over. But we have to follow that tense. So here we start with had. <coughs> so we go with <coughs> he had his own house or home. Op uh, optional, but house sounds better, and. Not can, can is the present. What do we have to use? Could, what do we do? could. could yes. Can. Yes, he could sat at the mouth of the drain pipe. Because he is sitting inside of it, we can't say at, it has to be in, okay? So the phone is in my hands. You guys understand that? Kind of like a sandwich. <laughs> a sandwich. Like a sandwich, yes. So it's in the mouth of the <laughs> drain pipe. Drain pipe. Correct. So, if, <clears throat> if for example, let's imagine this is the drain pipe, and let's imagine that <laughs> no, let's imagine this is Tucker. Tucker so, <laughs> if Tucker is sitting right here, he's not at the drain pipe. Poor Tucker. He is in the drain pipe. Do you guys understand? Yep. Poor Tucker be eaten by the cat. <laughs> Four Tuckers have been eaten sadly today. Rinse and pizza all the Tuckers. Okay. So, yes I do, because he had his own house, and he could sit in the mouth of the drain pipe and watch the world go by. Does everyone understand? Uh -huh. You all clear, guys? <coughs> Any questions? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. All, right, all right, all right, very good, very good. Understood, guys, understood. Next one. Now, second one was correct. Third one, however, okay, third one, um, was a bit tricky. So, no, I don't, because all people are different. So, guys, remember when I c called you, uh, when I told you guys what tautology is? Tautology is when, like, two words... Are repeating each other a little too quickly. It's when two words. It's, it's in a native. It's in a international language, and it means that two words are repeating each other. There was a man. A man with a big head. No, there are too many men. Oh, you can't okay. man that many. Yeah. So people and people here try to avoid it. Oh. What well, you can write instead Some is no, I don't, because every person is different. Okay, so we. Uh, I think. <coughs> sorry, I think what Kenneth was trying to do was tell us that every person is individual and different, right? Yes. So to explain that, we have to say every person is different, and then we can continue. Yes. Uh, for example, some people think dogs are crazy; others don't. Okay? Oh, that is the rightest tense write down, guys. I sent it all to the Discord chat. Well done. Alright. Now, let's quickly move along to the second bit of homework. I think this one is from Benjamin. I presume. You know what that means? That means Kenneth is going to be reading it. Mm -hmm. Actually, that, that makes sense. If, if Kenneth reads Benjamin, Benjamin reads Kenneth, then who is going to read mine? <laughs> Me. Okay. I don't have to read it. <laughs> And you're gonna read my homework. <laughs> Where's my homework? It's right here, Jolene. You're gonna read my homework. Okay, my homework. Wait, I don't look like homework. That's my university homework, yeah. Why did we do university homework? These three pages are my university homework right here. So this is page number one. This is page number two. And this one right here, you can see right here, all oh, this one. Yeah. This is page number three. I'm not 
I need you to read my homework. And now uh, you're gonna be collecting my homework as well. <laughs> if you don't do it, I'm going to <laughs> keep on eating more tuckers. Um, okay. I'm going to eat more tuckers because there are no mouses left in this world. Um, Ew, did anyone I ever eat mouse? Uh, That's yeah. disgusting. Mouse, you can eat mouse? I don't know. Yeah, you can. Alright. You can even eat, eat hamsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You eat hamsters like turkey in the country. <laughs> That's disgusting. No, it's not. It's, it's like turkey in that country. I forgot which country, but they just eat it. Ew. I don't like that. Well, we're going to have to talk about that a little bit later. Right now, please begin reading. Who? Kenneth? <laughs> Kenneth. Read the answer. Yes, because he had his own dream home, and every day people will fail crumbs so Tucker can eat and <laughs> survive. Mm -hmm. Also, he, he had one cat friend. Called Harry. Okay. Or Harry, I forgot. It's Harry. It is Harry. Harry Potter. Okay. He has a friend now, Harry Potter. <laughs> that's how we can remember it easily. Okay, Benjamin. Do you see any mistakes in this sentence, in your answer? Uh, okay. Well. So, he had his own drain pipe, yes, and every day people uh, will fell. Can anyone correct that, Jolyn? Not you. I want Kenneth or Benjamin to correct this. People will fell. Will fall. It's fall. No. No. Would would fall. yes. What was that? Would fall. Fall. No, we don't use fall. Fall is a different word. Would drop. That's correct. Would yes. drop crumbs so Tucker can. Is it can? Could. 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 So starting in the past tense. Yes, correct. Could eat them and survive. Uh, guys, I really want to get your guys' attention. <coughs> On one of the phrases which I wrote down, these phrases were the words not to mention the fact that. So, I'll notice in the writings right here, you guys say and quite a lot. There's always and, 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 which is not I really correct in formal. Yeah, so you can't say and too many times because it sounds very informal. Is not grammatically correct. It's all messed up in ooey and gooey and pooey. So instead of and, you can use the words like also or not to mention the fact that. These are the words that I use. So, for example, in this writing, we get ourselves, um, okay, and everyday people will fell crumbs, Stucker can eat, and survive. Also, he had a, a cat friend. So we can remove and and add this phrase. Not to mention that, or not to mention the fact that. Do you guys understand? Okay. Really good. So everyone, everything clear, guys? All of you guys understand everything? Yep. Oh. All right. Very good. Very good. I prefer... Uh, yeah, this one, I think it was correct. <coughs> <coughs> so, it's, I prefer to live in the countryside because it is quiet, and I love to climb mountains. That's correct. Third one. Even in my answers, I wrote down, uh, what? Because I really had difficulties understanding the third Let one. Let me see. I think I can understand if your head isn't blocking it. My goodness gracious, here. What blocking it? Yes, some animals ate insects equals meat. Mm -hmm. I can hardly see so it. So, and... So and sex equal meat couldn't <laughs> cover people. Some animals ace plants. Therefore, plants couldn't cover people. 
have uh, ha act C and then activity. No, oh that what? actually actually every animal is in the food chain. If they don't eat something, they will die. No, I think I get it. It says that because. Their food chain, for example, one if it has an insect and they have somebody that will eat the insect, they'll eat the insect and then they don't like the animal who eats the insects. <laughs> I think I can hardly get what you're typing. <laughs> I, I understand a single word. Well, I, I can't understand, understand that too. What's this place? I'm very good at math. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. what is C actually? C actually? No, that's not C actually. That is, that is, what's it called? Like this? That's not C, it's like. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Benjamin. Get it like this. Benjamin. Benjamin. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't really understand the answer. I understand it. You. Kind of. Ow. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We have no other choice. Benjamin, did you understand the question? Uh, I meant that um, every animal is like is the same same thing because they 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 um. Oh, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. Explain, explain, explain. Why is yes! Because, well, like, for example, I like guess insects, animals can eat insects, so they love them because they can eat the insects in their home. No! Oh, that's not the point of the question! Well, yeah, if you just keep us farming and. You can't eat. understand! Okay. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> guys, time to talk. Okay? So, guys, in the novel, we see that basically Tucker, Harry, uh, who else, who else, who else, uh, the cricket, uh, they all get along. So they all like the human, they all love Mario. But can spiders love humans? Can snakes be pets? Do you think all animals can be pets? That's yes, what I was snakes asking and you. Spiders can be pets. They can be pets. Yeah, for example, Lord Voldemort's Magini. Well, yeah, but, but not you... poisoned ones. Like, for example, I've been to. Okay. <laughs> let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you guys this. Uh, Jordan, I want to ask you this personally. Do you think that? Snakes can be as good pets as dogs. For example, can snakes be as loyal to humans and as nice to humans as dogs can? Well, it'll be fun to just put it on your neck. <laughs> it will choke you. It will. It will, it will choke you. No, it will I not have. Put it on my neck when I was three years old. Maybe more. Did you guys know? By the way, did you guys know that a snake is not capable of loving? Like a snake is missing a part of its brain. Which is responsible for developing hormones and affection and attraction. So snakes are physically incapable of loving. They cannot love anything. They don't. They can't. Their brain doesn't work like that. Their brain doesn't have that part for love. So that was the question. So they, so they don't like each other, and and oh. they they no, 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 can't no, no, that's think. Not, that's not what it meant. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Okay. Well, what it means that the snake cannot get in attracted to things. Yeah. Yes, the snake cannot love a human. The snake cannot show affection to a human. It cannot do that because it doesn't have a part of its brain. Well, I part of its brain. I've got a snake that is called Magini, and and that you'll follow me everywhere in my home. <laughs> Magini. Exactly. Harry Potter. Exactly. Lord Voldemort's snake. Kill. <laughs> so that, that is that is about what I'm trying to say, you guys. It's like a snake cannot physically love. It's literally incapable of doing that. So, so they can't I, love 
others and they can love anyone and anything. Yes, yes, yep, yes. Yep, yep, they cannot love. So they don't, so they don't love their favorite food? No, nope. no, they like, nope. they like food, they don't like others. <laughs> they, they, like, they are, they just eat the food. They don't, they can't <laughs> like or love anything. They just, they just eat the food. Oh yeah, they like eating a horse. Eat the food. Food. So they, they eat. They also eat stones? What? No. <laughs> you say they just eat, and so, so they don't know what to do. No, like. it's They are, and they eat stones. <laughs> I can. Snakes do not eat rocks. Oh, that's too hard for them. Their teeth are literally break. They don't have teeth. <laughs> Uh, they have, they have I remember. Teeth. They just swallow everything. They don't have teeth. Well, they have teeth. But I remember. And then they swallow it. Nope. I remember <laughs> that they, 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 like, um, like, eat stones into their body to, to, like, grind the food. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. you can see Snakes have to just search on Google snake heads fossil and they'll show you if they have teeth or not. Okay. I see. We'll do that later in class. Okay. Right now, I have a question for Benjamin. Benjamin. Did you understand the question? Yes. Thank you. Guys, should I eat another Tucker? No. No, 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 Morris fruit is? Uh, a fruit? No, Morris fruit. Coarse fruit? That's in Minecraft. Coarse fruit. This. Oh, that uh -huh. looks red. Yeah, that's, that's the point. Anyway, guys, time to not waste any more time. You guys know I don't like wasting time. Uh, so, let's just begin. With the chapters. By the way, Jolin, your homework was everything was correct. It's just a little bit of a grammar mistake, so I'm going to point them out later to you in a personal class. But, oh. yeah, your most of your homework was <coughs> grammatically correct. Congratulations. Yeah. Guys, amazing job on the homework. Time to get to class. First four chapters. Who can tell me what is the first chapter called? Tucker! 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 Tucker. Okay, okay. Oh. Now, who can tell me what is happening... <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> what is happening in the <coughs> first chapter? Describe it, guys. Uh, the first chapter was the story of how Marlo, Marco, I think, Marco found, found Chatter. Mario! Far, not Mario, found the cricket. Cricket Chatter? I forgot the name. Just really? Chatter. Well, yeah. Huh. I had no idea. Marco first they hear the sound of cricket. They go there. They came out of the dirt pile and then bring them back into the march match box. And then he, mm -hmm. and then he 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 begged mom for him to keep it just in the newsstand for now. And then wait 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, aren't you going a little too far? You're just going down to the entire book. Okay, I can. Do one that. Out of I can do that. Hold on. No 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 no. Okay, first. One at a time, who can describe Tucker's living conditions? Hold on, Jolin. Uh, can I? Benjamin, yeah. come on, it's easy. Uh, uh, they, 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 uh, Tucker. Tucker. Tucker was living in a drain pipe with a cat. Mm. Uh, and two dollars in a drain pipe. And there's a table and three 
Only two? Yeah, okay. one for Tucker and one for the Cricket. He had, he had a lot of junk in his... <laughs> in pipe. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Everyone relax. Everyone relax. Guys, relax for a moment. Okay, okay. One at a time. Kenneth, you go first. Describe his living yeah. condition. He had a lot of junk and... And money and <clears throat> some food and others... Um, and, and his drain pipe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, alright. Jolyn, you're next. Well, he got some bits of clothing. Two dollars and a half. Two dollars and thirty-nine, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then Whoa. he has a little rice that has been eaten in chapter two. And mm -hmm. crumbs of chocolate cookie that have been eaten in chapter one. Um, and... And some Coca-Cola and ice cubes that have been stolen and eaten in chapter six or five, maybe. We're going a little bit too far. Okay, guys. Okay. Um, who is the main character of chapter one? Chester. Oh. Tucker. Oh. Tucker. Tucker. Chester is the next one. Okay. Oh. All right. Let me ask you guys this question then. Uh. How does he survive on food? How does how does Tucker survive on food? Well, literally, because no he... speaking out loud, maintaining silence. Okay, finally, Kenneth, I'm gonna allow you to speak for now. Go on. Uh, he sometimes uh, uh people try, um drop crumbs, food crumbs, and you go pick it up, and then you can eat it. I believe it. Okay, okay. Uh, <coughs> Benjamin, in the first chapter, what was Tucker eating? Tucker was eating. Tucker was eating. Chocolate chip crumbs. Did I remember correctly? Jolene, no speaking <laughs> out loud. Let's maintain civility here. All right, Benjamin, confirm it, please. Lauren down short beard. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Benjamin is looking really hard. The last few crumbs of a cookie. Yep. Thank you. Yes. A Lauren down short beard. What? Okay. A okay. No. Short beard. Guys, 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 guys. Okay. Lorna, Lorna, Lorna short beard. Guys, guys. Can you give me a moment? Yeah. Tucker <laughs> is a mouse. So mouse, mice, mice, they don't have hands. They have something else. Raise your hand if you know what it's called. They have feet. <laughs> it starts on a W. W? Kenneth, do you know? Pass. No. No. Do you guys not know what it is? Oh, they, are they, yes, yes, this says multiple times. Okay, guys, let me give you a better question. On the word W, okay. Mm -hmm. Cats, Please. dogs, and mice have them. They're on, they're on right here. They whiskers! Just whiskers! There it goes, whiskers. Tucker was using his whiskers to lick off the rest of the crumbs. Very good. Well, What's happening in chapter two? You, we, okay, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yes. I think that's how hamsters eat as well. Mice eat very, very cutely if we just show you guys. Hold on. There we go. That's how mice eat. Just hide you guys. Mice use their whiskers. Right there, you guys see that? Look at that, they're using their little whiskers to sniff out what it is, and they're just eating it. You see that? They are adorable, yes. Derek shouldn't be- Look at their little tail- Look at how they're jumping along! See that? The mouse can even jump. Where? Where is it? It ran off, it ran off. Oh, 
using its whiskers to sniff out. And then just the rest is easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> I was enjoying the food. Just how mice eat. <laughs> you want more? You want more? No more. You guys had enough. All right, all right. What's happening in chapter two? Chapter two. Uh, I can't have a name. What's the name of chapter Sorry. two? Uh, Benjamin, Benjamin, you have to have no one Nope, 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 Benjamin. <laughs> Benjamin, say the name of the second chapter. Manchester. Jolin, I just said no speaking. Alright. Uh, uh, <laughs> no speaking. You wait. Okay. I'll wait. okay. <laughs> so, who do we get introduced to in the second chapter, guys? Cheater did Cheater? No, the, the, the Mario. We're gonna introduce the Mario. Well, and then the Mario. It's Mario. Yeah, it's Mario. Well, that's the chapter. Yeah, Mario. <laughs> exactly. So, guys, what do we learn about Mario's family? Who can tell me? Um. No, no, saying out loud. No, saying out loud. You raise your hands, Joel. I'm looking at you. We wait until it's your turn. Okay, um. Benjamin, you can go first. Um. Uh. Uh, Mario's father was very nice, and Mario's mother was kind of, uh, fussy. <laughs> fussy. fussy? Okay. Kenneth, what else do you about Mario? Go on. You're next. Mario's dad is nice, and Mario's mom is, like, what's that called? Eat Nettie. What? Okay, but can you give me... Can you give me a different fact? Can you tell me something else about Mario and his family? Mario's family... I can't. You can't? Come on, there must be something of Mario's family that you know. Okay, my turn now. Okay, go on, Jolene. Mario's mom is short and kind of... Yeah, short. It's the same height as Mario. And Mario's dad is thin and, and a nice man. Yeah, but you guys are missing the main point. <laughs> What was Mario doing? Mario was selling papers. He was selling papers? Oh, yeah. Was he doing, okay, uh, Kenneth, was he doing good in the business? Nope. Nope. Joel, nope. really? Really, nope. Joel? Then? You just had yeah. to jump in. You just had to jump in and give him your answer. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. One at a time, one at a time. Jolin. Uh, here's the thing about paper. Was his store functioning and getting any sales? Just a little bit, but not as much. Fifteen paper and four magazines. A day or a month? Um, when it's nighttime. The time that Mark when has been has been sitting there. And one wow, really? and one newspaper that is a dollar. I think it's just something something New York's New York. And, uh, uh, Benjamin, where was this paper being sold exactly? Where was it? Location? In the... In the... Everyone quiet. Everyone quiet. Benjamin, you go first. Benjamin, quiet. <laughs> okay, Kenneth. Kenneth. Kenneth, you can say, you can say. <laughs> go on, Kenneth, in, go on. In the subway station in Times Square. Okay, I'll take that. Jolene, can you confirm that? In a time, a subway station at times during the newsstand. So that is correct. Yeah. Very good. Looks like Very good. Miss mouse just flown out. What? I, I thought I, <laughs> no. I, I thought I said Benjamin it's stole maybe. his mouse. <laughs> All right. No, no. maybe his. <laughs> Everybody relax. Everybody relax. We're, we're still on the on, on the trip. All right. Here. Hold on. Here. Yeah, we're still on the trip of the questions because we're moving on to chapter three. What's happening in chapter three? Joel, you go first. What's the name of chapter three? Chapter three. Tucker Mouth means Chester. Yeah, Chester. That's a real name. Oh, Chester. Yeah. I got, I got, 
I got Tucker. <laughs> I got my phone. And I got some. I got my food. phone. Hello. This is actually the bloody juice. Did you guys know that? And I got like ten thousand dollars back there. This is this is actually bloody juice. Did you guys know that? Bloody juice. Blood juice. Yes. Yes, watch it. Oh my god, see, look at that. See that? Yeah. That looks like, that looks like grape juice, actually. That's it's not grape juice. juice. It's grape not grape juice. juice. It's blood juice. Okay. Oh, grape uh, juice. No, no, no. It's grape juice. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, then. It's it's not not juice. Juice. Well, just then. Poke a straw into your hand and then drink it. How is it? Is it like? It's sour. <laughs> Have you guys ever had kiwi? Uh, nope. Maybe yes, I forgot. Nope. I'll show you guys what kiwi is. I know what nope. it is, but I, I think I've tasted it before. Yeah, it's very sour. Kiwi? How we got oh, this? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I've eaten so it before. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's very funny. It's like a ball with a head. It probably tastes delicious. This was inside the bird. Kiwi. No, 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 no. That's a lie. It's not actually true, guys. I'm joking. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right. If you guys know when you take a first bite of fruit, oh, do you guys know green apples? Yeah. Oh. So green apples, when you take the first bite, they're a little bit like sour, right? Of course. Then the second and third bite is very sweet. But the first time you eat a fruit, it's usually very sour. Well, yeah. You know that feeling? Vanilla bananas. <laughs> That's exactly how it tastes. And then it gets sweeter. All right, guys, cricket. What's the name of the cricket, Benjamin? Chester. My man, Chester. All right. How did Chester end up in Times Square? Well, because he was first eating lemon rice in a bucket, then he got, and then the group just, he was buried under some beef sandwiches, and then he just come to Times Square, hide in the dirt, and then Marco found him, and then he got into a matchbox, and then... Mark? Matchbox? That's where no, he... No, Marco found, who found him? Marco. Marco found Chester. Who's Marco? Mario. Oh, Mario! Hold on, who, who's Marco? Polo? Say Marco, am I supposed to say Polo? Okay. Uh, fine. So Mario found Chester. Um, Benjamin, how did Mar- No one speak- First right the hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> no one speak except Benjamin. My eyes, they hurt. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Benjamin, begin. How did Mario find uh, Chester? Uh, he he found a third pile with paper. Uh, go in, go in. I will I mute just... you. What? I will mute you if you don't stop talking. I want Benjamin to speak. Benjamin, speak. If Jolin says anything, look at this. Look at this. If Jolin says anything, it's ready on mute. Okay, Benjamin. Begin. Uh, uh, he followed the sound and finds Chester in, in a dust pile. Dust? He's supposed to be dirt. Yeah, okay. Um, so, did only Mario hear this sound, Benjamin? Who else heard it? Tucker! Oh, oh Tucker! Tucker! Jolin! Oh, right, I forgot. Stop being so loud! Kenneth! What was Mario's reaction when he first saw Chester? Excited? Okay, that's not loud. That's not loud. <laughs> Excited? Do not say it. It's like... He is surprised to to see like what kid was like was like. Mm -hmm. 
So, what did Mario do, Kenneth, when he saw Chester? He let it on his hands. Hey! Oh, that's not loud. I'm not, that's not loud. Do not speak. Uh-uh, okay. I thought you just... Mute you yourself me. if you want. Mute yourself if you want, and then I'm going to choose you next, and then you can speak. Let Kenneth do the spotlight. Kenneth. Are you done? Oh, thank you so much for the nice gesture and such nice manners. What did Mario do when he saw Chester? He is surprised to see uh, what Cricket was. Like, okay. was, was like. Okay, so what did he do? What did he do to Chester? Did he kill him? <laughs> no, he talked to him. And when, 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 Chester, when Ch Chester, um, told him that he like, liverwurst. likes, likes, liverwurst. Liverwurst? Liverwurst? Tell him. Yeah. Quiet. Continue. Continue. So he picked him up, right? Kenneth, he picked him up. No, no. Uh, the uh, the mouse ran to his uh well, I'm, drain I'm pipe and. Are we talking about Mario or Tucker? We're talking about <laughs> what Mario did. Yeah, he's talking about what Tucker did. So it doesn't matter, Tucker ran off in his hole, that's correct. He's following along the story, Jolin. Do not interrupt. And and then he he took out his levers and then threw it on the table. On the table? It's uh, on the shelf. Alright, 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 Jolin. You know what? Thanks for being so confident. Why won't you continue speaking the full story? What happened when Mario saw Chester? When Mario <laughs> saw Chester, he put it on his hands, ran back to the newsstand, and then and then his dad said he can put it in the newsstand, and mom finally agrees. And and then Tucker meets Chester, and then he gave him leverage. Chester tells tells Tucker the story, and then they meet. They actually is Harry Cat appeared, and then and then Tucker introduced Harry Cat to to Chester, and then <laughs> mm -hmm. and all right. All right, so Benjamin, how are you? How are you, Benjamin? Bad. Are you good? Yes. Okay. So Kenneth, as I was asking. <laughs> okay, okay, Benjamin, back to you for a second. Okay, back to you for a second. Um, while Tucker and Chester were talking, something or someone appeared. Benjamin, who was it? Jolin, do not say a single word! Jolin, I'm on to you. I will report you. For being too loud. Jolin, mute yourself. I'm not loud. No! Benjamin, what happened while Chester and Tucker were talking? Uh, 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 Harry Cat appeared. Okay. Yes, continue. Yeah. And, and Chester thought that um, Harry Cat and, and Tucker Mouse were enemies. Right. Okay, thank you so much, Benjamin. So, Kenneth, what did Tucker do? Oh, uh, not Tucker, sorry. Chester. What did Chester do when he saw the cat behind Tucker? Kenneth, Kenneth, you answer. Uh, he 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 dove head first in, into the um, he accidentally dove into the um cash register. <laughs> mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Jolin, what happened then? He buried his head into the cat, cat, into the marsh box because he, he doesn't want to see. <laughs> was that? Friend Tucker Mouse being killed. Mm hmm. Was he killed though, Jolin? <laughs> he did. Oh. What happened? Well, what, what happened? Was he killed? Nope, he was. He. Ch Chester was introduced. Um, Chester, now you Harry Cat. Nope, now 
Now listen to her. I'm sharing my facts. Do not do that. <laughs> Your moms will kill me and then you guys. Do not do that. We will all die. Do not do that. Okay, uh, Kenneth, I need your help for a second. Um, were Tucker and Harry friends? Uh, Kenneth, I need you to unmute. Kenneth! Kenneth! <laughs> I'm going inside. Kenneth! Kenneth? Unmute. Kenneth! Hi. Hi. Hello, Kenneth. Were Tucker and <coughs> Harry friends? Yes, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. yes. Okay, so why did Chester think? Why did Chester think that Harry was about to eat Tucker? Because can I speak? <laughs> no. Because and uh, um and Connecticut and and Connecticut. 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 Hmm? Connecticut. Okay, just just speak. Um, continue. Don't, don't uh, just just yeah, just continue. Go on. Um. The. Um. Yes. All cats always um attack mice and then <coughs> and then eat it. Meow. Do you just eat a tucker? <laughs> Here you go, buddy. You can have a tucker. You can eat a tucker. Thank you. Come on. Give me. You know what this is? Give me. Give me. I dropped it. I dropped. It. Yeah. What is it? What is it, Jolene? You were saying? Don't, don't put anything in your mouth. Hey, what are, are you wrestling the camera? Relax. Okay. Oh, you just ate the Tucker. Oh my god, you actually well, ate no, the Tucker. He found Whoa. the way. Okay. Here, this is Tucker. Right. No! <laughs> is this Tucker? You guys are cruel people. He didn't eat it. He should have just spit it Finally, out. chapter four. Finally, chapter four, guys. What's happening in chapter four? Let me see. Let me see. Well, the fourth one is literally just meeting Harry Cat. Meeting Harry? Like, wait, no. Mm -hmm. Wait, yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's funny. Let's talk about how long have Harry and uh, Tucker known each other. For years, I think. For, for years? Was it for years? For 5,000 years, maybe. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. It only says that old time is long ago. Harry is my oldest friend. Oldest friend. They go for a very old time. Yes. Good job. Good job. All right, guys. So, did Chester like the environment of Harry and Tucker? Mm, well... Yes, I think. And Benjamin, when where was Chester sleeping? Jolene, do not say single Chester word. Chester is sleeping in the... Jolene, do not speak! Oh, okay, I'm going to speak the answer. Benjamin, where did he sleep? No, Benjamin, I didn't say sleep. I said, where did where did Chester sleep? Chester sleep in, in, in a matchbox. Matchbox. Guys, do you know what time it is? It's time for sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no! no. <laughs> <coughs> well, yeah, you just say where sleeps, and then say it's time for sleep. Benjamin! 
Time for Harry Potter. I mean, I mean vocabulary. Okay, 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 okay. Time for Harry Potter. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Okay. This is mine. This is my vocabulary. Yes. Kleenex. What is it, Benjamin? What is Kleenex? Kleenex. Paper tissues. Paper tissues. Okay. Okay, okay, guys. Can you give me a sentence with Kleenex? Yes, Jolin. I have Kleenex in my house. It's already everywhere. Okay, Jolin, read the second word. <laughs> and its meaning. Gryles. Do you guys know that some school? There is growls in front of a shop. Benjamin, not right? there is. No, 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 no. You said growls in, in plural, so not there is. There is is incorrect. What's the correct form? There uh, are. Are. There you go, Benjamin. Good oh. job. Good job. There are. Benjamin, read the third word. Plucked. Grab something and quickly remove it uh, from its place. Okay, I want to share with you guys something, okay? Okay. So let me just, let me just show you guys. Uh, some people, like me, they like to do their bras. Brows, right? Here. See these brows? People like to do them. Mm -hmm. I like to use this blade. It's a little razor. Hold on, a little razor right here, and just put it down, and it kind of formulates your brows. I can even do this on my beard, and it just kind of oh. infuse soap. But yeah, you can see here, it kind of shaves it out. So people, this is what most people use to do their brows. Some people like to use these small little pickers right here. They grab your brow out, and they just plunk it out. So they just take it out. Did you guys know that? Oh, I know. I've seen it in a movie, but that, that seems weird. That really hurts. That, I did it. It really hurts. You're, they're just like grabbing your oh. hair and just pulling it out. Hair is okay. Imagine. Grab my hair and pull it out, too. Look. Okay. okay. Yeah, but so that, that, that hurts less because it's your head. Well, yeah. Imagine when it's on your face. Your face is very smooth. Your face is very small and sensitive. So, when someone grabs your brow and just pulls it out, that's very painful. That's what plucked means. So, I pluck my brows. Can you guys give me a sentence? Someone? Um, I pluck my front when it's from where it's charred. Kenneth? A sentence, please? Um, what are you doing, Kenneth? <laughs> because you gave me a sentence, but I want Kenneth to interact as well. Kenneth? I cannot hear you, Karen. Okay, Benjamin, sentence. Uh, I plucked my tooth out. Okay, One more time? He said, I plucked my tooth out. I plucked my tooth. Okay, okay, you, you pulled or plucked my tooth. Okay, next one. Chorus. Chorus? A chorus has two beatings. It's either a group of singers or a part of a song which is repeated. You understand? Mm -hmm. For example, this song has a very nice chorus. <laughs> Benjamin, sentence please. Uh, there is a chorus in, in, in everywhere. There is a chorus <laughs> in every song. Yes, good, 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 good. Uh, Scrounging. Okay. Scrounging. Uh, do you only read the meaning of the word scrounging? Waiting to obtain money or food by stealing. The thief is scrawling for money. Okay. Benjamin, read the next word. Eavesdropping. Eavesdropping. Secretly listen to someone talk. Okay. Can you give me a sentence, Benjamin? He is eavesdropping. Uh, Colin, I said Benjamin. Now uh, you'll do the next one. Hey. Benjamin, give me a sentence of eavesdropping. Hey, what does that mean? So, um, uh, okay, I already thought of the next sentence. Hold on. 
Okay, Kenneth, you're gonna do the last word. Afghan. Yes. Benjamin, sentence with eavesdropping. What is it? Eavesdropping! Oh! I want to help. Oi, 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 oi. Benjamin, give me a sentence, buddy. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Benjamin. Hey. Okay. Eavesdropping, I can give you guys a sentence. Uh, Kenneth, try to give me a sentence. No, 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 eavesdropping. Kenneth, give me a sentence of eavesdropping. Eavesdropping? I like to eavesdropping others. I like eavesdropping on others. Good. Now, Kenneth, read the next, uh, read, uh, uh, not you. Sorry, Jolin, read the next word and the meaning. Uh, acquaintance? Acquaintance, yes. Acquaintance is a person who you know and someone who has experience and knowledge in something. He's a acquaintance person. He's a very he he's my acquaintance or he's a very acquaintance person. Okay. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Kenneth, final word. Of of John of fun. Afghan, of, yes. Afghan. Afghan. A person born or living in Afghan. Afghanistan. Yes, it's like a country. Okay. Kenneth, can you give me a sentence? Mm. Yesterday I was... Uh, yesterday... Benjamin was after after was Afghan, okay. Afghan. So yesterday Benjamin was playing a person, so he was playing a person who is born or living in Afghanistan. Okay, so yesterday I'm Russian. Tomorrow I'll be Taiwanese, so it's it's like a game. Okay. I see guys. Alright. Guys, I am proud to say you have all done very, very well for today's class. Um uh, now I have a question for you guys. Mm, do you have any questions? No. Anyone? Any questions? No. 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 In that case, we're going to call it a day, guys. Prepare the class two worksheets for next class. I'm going to call it a day here. Thank you all so much for joining. And don't forget to eat your tuckers. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.